No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. All right, now we're checking out the VS5. Um, can you talk us through some of the features of this? You got it. So basically, we currently have a VS line already. We have a VS1, VS2, VS3. Um, this is our VS5. It's our top line monitor. Basically, it's a professional monitor, and it's a 1280 by 800 screen. It takes, of course, up to 4K signals, too. It does take 4K signals. On top of that, people asked for it, and we've got waveform, color parades, vector scope, and if, yep, we've got all the features here. It's an HD monitor, and we have SDI in and out, HDMI in and out, and it's a converter. So you can do SDI in, HDMI out. And on top of that too, what really makes this special is the price. Um, the price of this is about $600. Wow. Okay, so we're giving you that professional monitor. We're trying to make uh, filmmaking affordable for everyone. Nice, and how is this powered? This is powered using Sony lithium ion batteries. Okay. Two of these will give you about four or five hours of life. Okay. Yep. And uh, are there other um, swappable plates on here? Is it just the Sony batteries you guys are going for? Yep. Can you power it um, with DC? Or Yeah, it looks like you can. Yep, you can power it with DC. Uh, as of right now, it's just the Sony lithium-ion batteries. We just chose the most common battery. Right, yeah. Um, and what's kind of cool about the thing, too, is that if you plug in the DC output and you also have the batteries in, it'll charge the batteries while you use the monitor. Okay. So you can be, you're running and gunning, you go inside for an indoor shoot, you plug it in for a little bit, Super you're ready to go outside again. Yeah, I know. Awesome. And we're here checking out new Lightstorm LED lights. Absolutely. So what we've got here is we've got a totally aluminum metal build on these Lightstorm lights. Uh, they're LED panels that what we do is we pack the LEDs tighter to be able to get more brightness output and a more compact size. So I'll show the first one is the full size. So you've seen uh, lights like this before. Um, this is throwing out the same light output of a 1K light. And you've seen 1K light panels and they're usually huge, right? Usually one by ones. Um, what we do is, how do we still get that light output in such a small size? It's density. So if you look at the actual LED pattern, we pack them in there like honeycombs. We literally pack them in as tight as possible. A normal LED panel, you can run your finger in between them. The problem, the reason why other people don't do that is because there's a heat problem when the LEDs are too close together. So we decided, okay, well, we can solve that too. So what we do is we spin it around and we have the entire back as a heat sink. Instead of, instead of control modules here, we take all those control modules, we throw them off and we keep them down here. So basically, we thought for a moment, we thought, okay, well, what are users usually using a 1K light for? They throw it in the air and then they bend it down, right? Yeah. So if they do that, why would you want the control panel on the back when you throw it up in the air? Yeah. So let's bring the control panel down. You can throw up the light, you can dim it while you're up here. So this right here is the dimmable version. Totally dimmable from 100 to 10. Um, total aluminum casing. And what's interesting too is that we're going to come out with a color temperature adjustable version too. Right here, we just have the daylight balanced one. And is this, this looks like this is also uh, wireless. It is. So this is a wireless light. You can set three different channels, four different groups. I'm looking at what's remote here. I got 1B, striking it on and off. And of course, I can also dim it too. So right now, I'm going to speed increase the power. Uh, on top of that too, we've got DMX in and DMX out. Uh, it has a DMX 5.12, which means that it can go more. So I know a lot of DMX lights have that problem where you can only put 16 DMX lights to a channel. This has a repeater built into it, infinity. Um, on top of this um, what is the sorry? What is the repeater? It's letting you use much more than 16 DMX lights to each one. Oh, okay. Yeah, right it's also uh, battery powered in addition. Here you got your Anton Bauer V mount, and you've also got a uh, different interchangeable battery plates. So you can do Sony lithium ion batteries, or you can plug in straight to DC, which will also charge the batteries while the light's on. Awesome. Well, that seems very intuitive to um, to keep the controls somewhere where you can actually touch them. Yeah. Um, what's the price point on this? The the big unit. $600. So what's cool about this one here is this is priced at $500. This light's a little bit different because we have point-to-plate LEDs. So what that means is that the LEDs aren't shooting out a 45-degree angle of light like most things do. This is shooting out 120. So if I bring it up just a little bit and bring my hand right here, you'll see as soon as I pass the edge of the light, I'm catching that light. So it's really shooting out the widest possible beam of light. Um, same thing, we're going to have a color temperature adjustable version, DMX, remote controlled. Um, whole nine yards, of course, Anton Bauer plug-in. This one's going for $500. Total aluminum case, you kind of just got to feel it to feel the build quality, but 
it's nice. there. And what are the advantages of having the 120 degree uh, light pattern? You know, you get like a real, real flat light if you're shooting in a narrow situation. You really need to be able to, you know, like you're in a bathroom or something, or shooting in a closet or a hallway. Um, you really just don't have that space to be able to back up and give that fill that you want. So this light right here, you know, you can put it anywhere. You can put it down here and it'll really, really capture the space.